Data for a certain biology experiment are given in the table above. If the amount of bacteria present increased by the same factor during each of the two three-hour periods shown, how many grams of bacteria were present at four o'clock? So one of the key words in this problem is the word factor. On the GMAT, you need to recognize that when they say the word factor, that means something that you multiply. And so there is some factor, something we multiply by to go from 10 to X, and then we multiply again by that factor to go from X to 14.4. We multiply by the same factor during each of those periods. For lack of something better to call it, I'm going to call that factor R. It's the ratio. And we know that 10 times R equals X. Okay? We could say X times R equals 14.4, but instead I'm going to say 10 times R times R equals 14.4. In other words, we start with 10 and multiply by R twice to get to 14.4. So this is 10 r squared equals 14.4. Now I could divide by 10 and take a square root, but that would involve taking the square root of decimals. That's a hard thing to do without a calculator. Instead, I notice this number here, 14.4. This looks a lot like 144, which is 12 squared. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 10. And so what I'll get is 100 r squared equals 144, just has the effect of moving the decimal place to the right one space. Now I'm going to take a square root. Square root of 100 is 10. Square root of r squared is r. And square root of 144 is 12. Divide by 10, and r equals 1.2. Now this, of course, is not the answer. This is the ratio. So now we want to go back to x. Go back to this equation here, 10 times r, which is 1.2, equals 12. And this is answer choice A.